Good morning, my reader friends. Book Dragon Erin here with another book review just for you. This book is my first DNF of 2022, and I hope for absolutely no more. This teenage drama fiction novel wasn't what I hoped it would be, so I consider this book a literary letdown. So let's get right into the video. The Revenge by Hannah Jane is a young adult fiction contemporary mystery and it is a standalone. Other books by Hannah Jane include The Dare, The Escape, Twisted, and Truly Madly Deadly, which is one book that I have but I am debating on whether or not I should read the book or give it a chance because if this book is any indication of Hannah Jane's work, I don't know how I'll feel about her other books. Readers who read this book also enjoyed My Secret to Tell by Natalie D. Richards. I have this book, but I haven't read it yet. One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. I read this book and absolutely loved it. The Girl Who Wasn't There by Penny Jolson. I have this book, but I also have not read this book yet. The Lake by Natasha Preston. This is one book I do not have. And then another book is You'd Be Home By Now by Kathleen Glasgow. As far as a hook goes, Tony just wanted a little revenge when he posted his ex-girlfriend's location online, and he never meant for a predator to be led right to her doorstep. Moving on to the plot, Tony breaks up with his girlfriend, Hope, but she is not finished with him. Hope spreads a rumor that Tony has an STD and even lies that she was the one to break up with him, although that wasn't the case. Tony doesn't have an STD and he is the one who broke up with Hope because her family and her personality was just too much for him. The lie humiliates and mortifies Tony at school so he does want revenge. Tony makes Hope's location online public, which is a big mistake, and a week later Hope calls Tony and begs him to stop his cruel prank. However, Tony hears a shriek and a car door being slammed, and then the call is dropped. When Hope isn't at school the next day, Tony realizes that he might have actually put Hope's life in real danger. Can Tony track Hope's movements and save her before it's too late? My thoughts on this book, there are very few just because I didn't finish this book and I wish I had, but I just couldn't get through it. Anyway, if I had read this book back when I was in high school, I think this would have been majorly triggering for me because of the trauma I faced in dealing with bullying and harassment. So while my past self would have absolutely hated this book, my present self is okay with it, but I am still unimpressed enough to not finish this book. Also, Tony was wrong to share Hope's location for anyone and everyone to see, but the twisted, justice-loving part of me thinks Hope got what she deserved. Anyway, she deserves to be taught a lesson that will make a lasting impact on her, thus not ever putting someone through the hell that Tony faced again. Also, Tony knew Hope best when they were dating, and I am literally shocked that Hope really did love Tony. She described him as basic and average, but real and kind, so that was what she loved about him, not the fact that he was hardworking or his personality was immaculate or very touching to the soul, anything like that. She just was like, oh, he's basic, he's normal, I guess I can like that, and then she loves him, and then, how can a girl really love someone, then stab him in the back with a life-altering lie? That doesn't make sense to me. So even if Hope really did love Tony, I personally do not believe it, as a reader or as a person in general. Anyway, I'm also stupefied that Tony could see right through Hope's prank. Yes, as it turns out, Hope faked her own kidnapping and hid at some guy's lake house for a couple weeks, but then she gets kidnapped for real, and now Tony is left proving his own innocence 
by finding hope and clearing his name. I still feel like that isn't Tony's responsibility, finding hope. I mean, if I were in that sort of situation and someone lied about me to everyone else, Yes, I would be angry, but no, I wouldn't waste my time with that person ever again because they are no longer my problem. If my boyfriend told a lie about me that was as severe as an irreversible STD, I would not want to have anything to do with him because his viciousness towards that situation, I just, it makes my head implode. I am not even joking. But... To be honest here, I DNF'd this book because when I reached the halfway point of this book with nothing happening still other than a lot of talk of where's hope, bring hope back, Tony must have had something to do with it, and no real action, I personally just gave up. And I wasn't impressed with this book and nor do I think I will pick this book up again for the time being. I may in the future, just not right now, because this book was so boring and so slow, and it was just like, okay, Hope lies, Tony faces the music, Hope pranks everyone, and then it's just, where's Hope again, with all this sort of ridiculousness that I couldn't stand. And I can usually handle a teen thriller with a bunch of drama like that, but this just wasn't my cup of tea whatsoever. And as far as ratings go, Amazon rates this book 4.2 out of 5 stars, Audible.com for some reason rates this book 4.8 out of 5 stars, Goodreads rates this book 3.2 out of 5 stars, and my rating, I am sorry Hannah Jane, but this book wasn't for me, so I rated this book as one out of five stars. This is the lowest rating I have ever given a book in 2022, and I hope only to read amazing books for the rest of the year and to not waste my time with a book that was so slow and unappealing to me that I don't want to regret wasting my time reading a book in six hours because that's six hours of my life I won't get back. And with this book, I put it down because it was, I thought it would be unputdownable, but then when I lost interest in it first, I let it sit on my desk for a couple weeks, and then I got back into reading it, and I was just so, ugh, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was not my cup of tea, as I said before. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, Turn on those notifications to be notified when I upload new videos every single Sunday. Keep on reading and have a great day, everyone.